journalism and you know production media production communities in Ukraine are very tight. So um, pretty much everyone knows everyone, especially um, at, at least you know online they've been interacting or you know working online. So it it touches on a personal level. I remember Yevgeny as a very kind, always smiling uh, man, a very attentive colleague with a lot of patience to younger colleagues. I was much younger than him. It was always a pleasure to work with him. He uh, always spoke in a soft voice. One thing I think that really made a difference with Brent and that showed through in our films is just how much he cared about the people we were filming. You know, and ultimately that's, that's why Brent died. He was trying to get to a bridge, not to where the fighting was going on, but to where refugees were trying to flee out of Ukraine with the little bit of belongings they had left. For our family, you know, we think about Brent very differently. We think of him as an uncle and somebody that really loves spending time with his family. My son Ty is 11 years old. Brent and Ty were, were very close. When we think about Brent as a family, we think about those memories, but we also really are proud of the sacrifice that he made. That man who was so, uh, a wealth of uh, experience, of stories, of knowledge, of uh, humor. Uh, you know, the, when you hear stories, how he began his career of having a motorcycle and driving from the UK to Afghanistan to uh, film uh, the Talibs there and uh, then go and sell this to Western media outlets and uh, all of his stories from, uh, counter stories from Israel, Libya, Iraq. The man was, um, a true journalist. Alexandra is a symbol for Ukraine's uh, struggle right now. She did want to be independent. She was a wonderful and splendid uh, organizer. She put together many different events, festivals, uh, music festivals. Not to mention she was a DJ. She was working with Fox since before the war. Uh, she wanted to expand her social media telling of the story. So to tell the, um, the narrative of the war in Ukraine. She was a voice of independent Ukraine, as you can see in her Instagram profile. And uh, she paid a price for that who became a symbol of all these journalists in Ukraine who have uh, given their life to tell the world the story of our war. His life was his work. And then um, I uh, also remember that um, he was actually pledging for people, for journalists, to be able to go on the front lines to cover more stories on, on the front line. He was motivated to show the truth about what is happening in Ukraine. He was motivated on a personal level. He was motivated as a um, as a professional, as a as a photojournalist, as as a journalist. And then he was motivated, I guess. Um, as a citizen. The when the war is started, uh, uh, she wants to be in Ukraine. And uh, it was a very dangerous situation. Uh, I was, nobody can stop the, stop you, you can uh, stay stay at home, not going to work. It was very important 